What will 2020 bring? I would like to share three trends that I believe will be a major disruption in 2020. And the first trend is all about 5G and IoT. We've all heard about Huawei, a company that is considered the number one in the world when it comes to 5G. Otherwise, why would there be so much talk about security risk? I mean, they're really some of the best technology worldwide. They have 20% of all the patents of 5G in the world. And China, as a country, is planning to have coverage, full coverage, in 300 cities by the end of 2020. So China will be a complete 5G covered place in just a year from now. Now, on top of that, there's IoT and there's smart cities. China has 500 of the world's pilot projects today active. And of those 500 pilot projects, by the end of 2020, in one year from now, we'll see that China will decide which 100 cities will become the example, the blueprint for a smart city. What that means is that 100 cities in China, by the end of next year, will become smart and connected. China, by the end of 2020, will become the most connected place on this planet. Now, the second trend, which I think is going to change even China and the world even more, is all to do with blockchain. 2020 will be the year of blockchain for China. Xi Jinping in October, October 25th, announced that he will support and he and the government supports blockchain as the underlying technology for creating more transparency, for ease of transactions, for security and safety, and so that will change everything. So the same as what happened two years ago with artificial intelligence, intelligence is now going to happen today with blockchain. It means millions and millions of entrepreneurs in China are all going to start developing blockchain applications. And so the world should look at China to see what is going to happen on blockchain. But that same technology can be used also for what is called cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin. And China, and this is a major announcement, in 2020 will launch its own central government planned and controlled digital currency. A Bitcoin from China, controlled by the central government. And this is mainly to help with money laundering and, and, and shadow banks and gambling and all these gray zones that China really has a problem to cope with. But at the same time, it could create a disruption in the world because it will also be linked to what is called the Belt and Road Initiative. And Belt and Road Initiative is that silk, that new silk road connecting almost 70 countries outside China with China. And that digital currency could now be used to replace the US dollars. The US dollar, imagine, could not be the number one currency in the world to trade. And that could be in 10, 20 years from now. Now, the last trend I would like to talk about is all to do with standards. I mean, it's very clear that China wanted to become more innovative. But with all the risks and the worries and, and the trustworthiness going down about China, they don't have access to the world's top technology anymore. Think about Huawei not getting access to chips, to Android. So China is starting to build its own standards. It has to. They have no choice. So they're building their own chips, they're building their own operating systems, they're building their own applications like face recognition, which are becoming a global standard because they have built the best algorithms in the world. And so China has no option but to build its own standards. I mean, 2020, we'll see the first airplane, the C919, go airborne in China by China Eastern. But we'll also see the first GPS system called Beidou going around the world so not needing the American GPS system anymore. It will all create an independence of the West, an independence of innovation from the West. And China went from made in China to create in China over the past five, six years, and is now going to go into invent in China.